My name is Amata, and in this Red Gaming Tech video, I'm here with an interesting report from John Petty Research, which is a look back at the third quarter of 2017 and how the discrete GPU market did in that particular period. As I said, John Petty did do a rather extensive look at how the market did in that time, and I figured since we spent an awful lot of time looking forward, uh, on this particular channel as we look forward to the latest technology and of course discuss it as it releases. It's more than fair as we reach the end of the year at a seemingly breakneck pace to take a look back at how things have been doing in the discrete GPU market. So we did see an increased shipment of discrete GPUs in Q3 2017 and just a bit of a clarification, this does include all graphics boards from manufacturers and AIB partners, but does not include integrated or embedded GPU solutions, so do keep that in mind. So the first thing I actually want to discuss is PC gaming and how it was, unsurprisingly, the biggest contributor for the biggest jumps in the graphics market. You may have seen the report that released last month that showed that PC gaming plays a huge role in the overall GPU market share and of course unsurprisingly is playing a similarly large role in the discrete graphics market as well. In the case you missed that report, the sort of takeaway from it is that overall GPU shipments did increase 9.3% in comparison to the previous quarter. Now, John Petty did also discuss the market share of AMD versus NVIDIA, and we saw a uh, expected result, to be honest, because despite AMD's efforts, NVIDIA have been in the lead for quite some time, and NVIDIA did actually increase their discrete GPU market share to 72.8%, an increase versus the 69.7% of the previous quarter, and AMD unfortunately saw a slight share decrease to 27.2% versus the 33 of the previous quarter. Now there's a particular reason this is interesting, and that is to do with cryptocurrency mining. Uh, obviously that has been in the news a lot lately, given of course the fact that it has been a definitely large contributor to the increase in price of certain GPUs, but unsurprisingly the demand for crypto mining as well as of course gaming did see an all-time high for faster discrete graphics boards and this led to a sequential increase of 29.1% quarter over quarter and 21.5% year over year from unsurprisingly last year. We saw a increase in the number of shipments which led to a impressive high of 14.4% and ARB desktop shipments were making the largest gains of 21.5% over the 8.9% increase we saw in desktop PCs. Just a bit of further clarification, the desktop PC market includes all PCs shipped through OEMs, whereas AIBs also includes custom-made rigs, which are obviously really damn popular among not only just general PC gamers, but of course those who are really into mining. So if I get back to AMD versus Nvidia for a second, the trend that that trend that I discussed is interesting because AMD are generally known to ship pretty well when crypto mining is at its peak. However, Nvidia also saw increased demand due to the crypto cycle. So despite AMD usually getting a bit of a boost thanks to cryptocurrency, Nvidia did pull ahead of them and of course we saw a ever so slight decrease for AMD but of course Nvidia were already in the lead so you know is what it is. But the interesting thing is that while the demand for crypto mining did of course push demand for discrete graphics the quarter wasn't as strong for crypto mining as compared to last quarter so that probably had something to do with the slight decrease for AMD but it's hard to say you know, cause correlations, not exactly like you fill out a survey when you buy a certain GPU. So it's hard to say if it was exact certainty, but I would say there's definitely at least a vague argument of correlation to be made there. Another thing to consider that might have contributed to this is, of course, the launch of Vega. Now, included in this, in this report, excuse me, is only one month of sales for Vega. So we are really going to the impact of Vega in the Q4 report, but of course we also have the 1070 tie, which of course is a direct response to Vega 56. So while we will be seeing the 
fuller impact of Vega in the next report from John Petty Research as we see more than a month sales for that particular card. We're also going to be seeing, of course, NVIDIA's answer to it come into play. And of course, we might see a further decrease in crypto mining interest. And of course, we might see an increase. But most analysts are predicting a decrease in interest, especially due to the holiday season. But of course, that is pure speculation. And at the moment, all we can do is look back. And the overall takeaway is that we saw a pretty damn nice increase for discrete graphics. A little bit of an um, increase for NVIDIA and sadly a decrease for AMD. Again, I think the Q4 results are going to be particularly interesting. But that is me done for this particular video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.